Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan, and this is the Mike Sullivan Golf School. Today, we're gonna to talk about four things that you can do to really help get your golf game back on track. Okay, we're gonna start with a little story. Uh, I've got a golf student, his name is Dan, so Dan, I guess you know uh, we're talking about you now. Uh, he's a good golfer, and I had the chance to play golf with him this past summer, and um, he played pretty well. He hit a lot of good shots, and then he hit a few bad shots. Well, at the end of the round, you know, we added up his score, uh, and he shot an 86. Now, Dan is the type of guy who really has the skill, I would say, in looking at him hit balls and kind of watching him around the golf course to shoot in the 70s, but the score today was an 86. And so, you know, we were talking a little bit about what happened, and he felt that you know, he's going to have to work on his driving a little bit and a little bit on his iron play to, to get his score down. And what I said to him is, I said, Dan, you hit the ball today the way that somebody in the 70s hits the ball. The problem was had nothing to do with your ball striking. The problem was in actually how many putts it took you once you got on the green. Because what we did was we actually charted his round. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to chart your round. And in, in, um, in charting of his round, we kept track of not only his score, but also the number of fairways he hit, the number of greens and regulation he hit, and then the number of putts that he took. By the way, greens and regulation, really that, that kind of measures your ball striking. So in a par four hole, you hit the green and regulation if you hit it in two strokes on a par four, three strokes on a par five, one stroke on a par three. Basically, you take the par and subtract two putts to give you the, the greens and regulation number. Anyhow, back to his putting. Uh, Dan had 37 putts. A good golfer, or I should say someone who's got a good short game, uh, is a good putter, should have 30 putts per round. We all have the ability, if we put the work in, to have 30 putts a round. The trouble is knowing what to do. So the first thing we do is we chart our rounds. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our putting. And I've got videos on YouTube. There's all kinds of videos everywhere to help you with what to do to, to improve your putting. But one thing you can definitely do is practice more, and I'd recommend practicing at home. You can get a little putting mat called an accelerator. We sell them in our pro shop. They're also available online. I will be sure to put a link in the description. Uh, get one of these putting mats and practice 10 or 15 minutes at home, and practice putts of eight feet and in. If you're always putting a long way from the hole, you're not gonna make a lot of one putts. And if we're gonna have 30 putts over 18 holes, that means we're gonna have to have some one putts. So next is your chipping. You've gotta work on your chipping so you can get the ball within eight feet to give yourself a really good chance of making that putt. All right, so we're gonna make sure we're working on our chipping. This leads me a little bit into the next thing. Most people who leave a lot of golf strokes on the golf course are people who do not do a good job at playing the easiest shots. What I mean by that is, you've got to be able to practice hitting balls out of the woods, you know, punching the ball out of the woods, which is basically a chip shot. I cannot explain how often I play with somebody and they hit a shot into the woods, and then when they're in there, they can't get out in one just because just they haven't practiced that shot. All right? And then the last thing I want you to do is read two books on the mental side of the game, and this is part of the golf game that people not only just ignore, but they actually hurt themselves by not understanding how important the mental side is. So read two books. They're both by Dr. Bob Rotella. Golf is not a game of perfect and putting out of your mind. They're both excellent. I'll leave it at that and I'll also put those links in the description. So that's four things that you can do that are really going to help you out. Chart your game. Strive for 30 putts and get there. Become someone who can putt 30 times in a round of golf and that's it. Get good at the easy shots and read those two books on the mental side of the game. And I'm telling you, if you can get a handle on those four things, you're going to see those scores really start to drop.